shirts today. B.J. is from Portsmouth, Virginia. So 61-year-old Howard Schnellenberger about to take a bite out of his first Texas-Oklahoma game. And it's on. Long, deep kick going way back into the end zone. There will be no return. Quarterback, he is a redshirt freshman. He comes from Dallas. He's a left-hander. And he has not so far in his young career shown a great deal of patience. If you get a little pressure on him, he'll pull it down quick and take off. So put it at the 20 and it's first down for the Oklahoma Sooners. The officials today, it is a big eight crew headed by referee Terry Turlington. And here's the first play of the ball game. With Moore and Rose lined up in the backfield out of the I formation. Gerald Moore coming back from injury. And here, coming around the corner is P.J. Mills, the flanker. P.J. Mills carrying, he picked up seven yards. This is Gerald Moore, the tailback, and Moore from Houston, Texas, playing it over. He's a left-hander who's going to the right here, and that normally means run. He fumbles the football, and Texas jumps on. James Brown drops and has plenty of time and has a man wide open. It's Mitchell out of the backfield. And Sean Mitchell from Austin, Texas. Balls loose, Keith. Don't know whether they ruined really... Oklahoma Sooners is led by number 57, Cedric Jones. He's an outstanding player. He is the all-time sack leader at Oklahoma. He's just seven sacks away from becoming the biggest all-time sack leader. Here, cooled off today, the story of Howard Schnellenberger, who at age 61 uh, is taking over at Oklahoma. 16th year as head coach, came here from Louisville, looked like he was going to spend the rest of his coaching career at Louisville. He could find the back. And they go up the middle, and they block it, and it's a touchdown, Texas! So they didn't look at any of the films from the past. Years they brought him in to start. Sean Mitchell is on his way. There are no flags in his wake, and it's a free ride down the sidelines to a touchdown. Texas has exploded in the first quarter to lead 21 to nothing. Five and a half million dollars to the scholarship funds of America's colleges and universities. So instead of having the ball on the other side of the field, Brown down. Number 93 got some penetration. Martin It's my alma mater they're beating up. This is Joe Moore. the kind of running attack the kind of success finding California young people want to come live in Austin. Up the middle it's Michael Rose. Big play. Chris Carter may have saved it. Makes it first down and 10 at the 24 yard line. And the ball is handed off to Gerald Moore and he's free. He is in the end zone. Touchdown. Just straight blocking. King number 50 is blocked by the back. And you got you can't block them all. You got to break a couple. Brown he is sacked. Great play by Cedric Jones. He did turn while he's not in the ball game. Well said. This is more. The big guy down the sidelines like a runaway freight. All the way down to the... McGee gets heat, drops the ball. Texas diving for it and had a shot at it. And they're still chasing it. And finally the long run. 
five out of six this season. Very good kicker. Hammers it through. The cannon booms and the Longhorns lead 24 to 7. East pass. A man over there wide open. Chris Carter had given uh, to consider. Timeouts remaining. Both teams with two. 46 seconds to play in the first half. Oklahoma just spent that one because now they're camped down at the 16-yard uh, line and they a bunch of leg and it's good. And you've got six seconds remaining. As the Sooners get their tenth point timeout remaining. Texas now with nine yard line. And they go this time to James Allen. And Allen breaks a tackle on the corner and puts it on the Texas side of the field. First hit. Moore keeps it. Got a man to throw to. P.J. Mills is wide open, but Moore pulled it down and took off. And he runs third down at the eight. Coming again. Moore looking around. Got some room. Throws to the end zone. Touchdown. P.J. Mills. There's a reverse angle. This is not the way it was drawn up. This is a pocket pass. Gets a little heat. Says, I can run out of here. Let me buy some time. Nice throw on the run. That means he can do it. Here's one right there. He just killed it all the way back to the 25-yard line. Mike Adams coming back with it. Fumbles the ball. Oklahoma's got it. First down inside the 25-yard line. The time will possibly take the lead. This is Gerald Moore. Touchdown. behind the defense Overton 74 is going to pull tight end gets a nice block Alexander and Moore just outruns him goal try by Jeremy Alexander he holds the Oklahoma high school record at 57 he's from Cherokee and he doesn't get hardly across the line of scrimmage because somebody Williams outside, better hurry. Ball loose, Oklahoma's got it. He throws this ball up, he knows it's fourth down. He's a true freshman, the first one to start. Look at that, he knows it's over with. He's just trying to throw it backwards. If, if Oklahoma catches that ball in the air and runs it the other way. It's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. So Ricky Williams uh, could have become very famous with that play. <laughs> James Brown looks, lets it go for Wallace. He's over there, but he can't. Oh, no, he got it! A little bit of history. It is second down and ten. And things are not going well for the Longhorns as Cedric <laughs> Jones comes storming in and decks the quarterback. Why do it when you're old? Yeah. <laughs> McGee down the middle. The ball is caught. Caught for the tight end, Alexander. That's the man they have to get it to, Alexander. He didn't make it. The pass was caught by... 31 seconds to play in the game. The snap was high, the kick is hooked left. And missed it. In a game that could well have been leading by three. It's a run. And we're not hurt. Certainly doesn't hurt as much as a loss. And in the standings, we're just too early to tell. The ball's on its way. And it is no good. I'll tell you what, though, Matt Davis went there and then got his hands on it. 
and the game is over. The 90th meeting of Texas Oklahoma ends in a 24 24 tie. Don't forget the World Gymnastics Championships tomorrow at 4 Eastern, 3 Pacific, here on ABC.